Hello, and welcome to the Modern Musclehead Podcast. Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com, along with Brian Cron, whatever side he is on me in the split screen here. <laughs> <laughs> BrianCron.com. This is Yo. episode uh, 39 of the Modern Musclehead Podcast. We've just been recording audio versions of this up to this point. Uh, you can find out my website, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, uh soundcloud so you can follow us on all those different platforms uh, if you've been enjoying this show up to this point we'd love it if you took a moment to uh, to rate our show give us a review uh, we'd love to hear your feedback and again uh, any topic ideas for future shows even if we don't agree with the topic ideas we do appreciate them uh when they, when they come in our topic for today is going to be really geared towards men over 40 and training, seeing a lot of, um, uh, well, probably as you would put it, and some of our other coll- colleagues, a uh, douchebaggery going on. Up there. <laughs> Just people really wussing out on things. So we've had previous episodes where we discussed minimalist training, people trying to get away with like the bare minimum uh, exercise getting by. And if you've been following Brian and I, you know that we are. That just that shit doesn't resonate with us at all. We we love our training, so we're gonna we're gonna be covering this topic. And Brian just published uh, a great article, kind of on this topic as well. It's something that we've been discussing throughout the week together, and really chomping at the bit to record this conversation and share our insights into even more detail. So I'll have a link to Brian's article down below as well. But bro, let's uh, let's dive <laughs> into it. What's got you all freaking fired up right now? Oh man, I mean, yeah, like you mentioned the, the blog I just put out and, and that's really like the, the impetus of this. I mean, this has been coming about for a long time with me and and it's it's not just because I'm over 40 officially, I'm actually, uh, oh, the whole, I'm 42, so I'm officially over that hump, but I've been getting emails and, and programs and, and stuff sent to me like how to design your workout once you cross this like this this number, this this threshold and and you know how, what you should do in the gym and what shouldn't you do and blah blah. It's always should. They always use the should word, which pisses me off in itself. Um, and it's without a fail. It's without fail that the workouts are just terrible. Yeah. Like they wouldn't. They wouldn't put muscle on. They wouldn't put muscle on the Maverick here. The Maverick. <laughs> Get that guy. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, it just. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's just such a disrespect to guys our age, and I feel it's like I don't know, man. I feel like almost personally offended. Like this last one I read, I was sitting <laughs> sitting on a plane, uh, ready to go to Vegas, and I, I I must have read this article probably three times, and I don't know. In a, in a three hour flight, I must have had three beers just to kind of like get this <laughs> get the tension down. Um, but anyway, anyway, so yeah, I really want to talk about this. You want you want to uh, give the, the the basis of that? I mean, it that was it's a really toned down program. I know what you're talking about. We're not naming names or oh, anything here, uh, but it was a ridiculously toned down workout. And ironically, they're kind of basing it on uh, a really ripped older 70 year old 70, yeah, 70. late seventies, late seventies. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is a guy who's been ripped for decades, always yeah. freaking ripped, like ridiculously low body fat, always in amazing shape. So he's in his late seventies and uh, starting to dial down his workout. So he's yeah. cutting down on his volume, yeah. doing a lot more walking and a, just a yeah. little bit of lightweight training. I'm like, all right, the dude. I mean, he's been yeah. crushing it all along. How can you compare that <laughs> to someone who is just entering their forties or even late forties? I just turned forty recently. Yeah. I am not going to train like someone. Yeah. who's in, in that state right now. That's the, it was the most ridiculous. I couldn't believe the comparison to begin yeah. with. And I just, it just makes me sick. Yeah. Like the program was one full body workout a week and then walking on all the other days. If you have energy. <laughs> so, so I was like, what the fuck? I mean, uh, anyway, I suppose you have to qualify that yeah. when you say over 40, that's a large, that could be anywhere from 40, I guess, up to 100, you know, or, or whatever, 120, I guess people live that freaking long. So that's, a, you know, so maybe it was like making a sweeping generalization. And there's also, there's a difference between someone like you're, you know, you and me, and we've been doing this, you know, our entire adult life and, and kind of just running with it versus someone who is 
turn 40 and now deciding they're going to work out for the first time. Yeah, that's a huge difference. But I mean, for the most part, I think this segment of the population is grossly underserved. And I think it's the, the condescending kind of attitude that's being perpetuated out there. It just really pisses me off. Yeah. Know? Yeah, because they, they talk down uh, yeah. to guys yeah. like us. I mean, we're passionate about this stuff. We freaking love it. I mean, yeah. I feel like I'm, this is prime time, man. I have never yeah. been so into training. I have never had more energy, more focus, more <sighs> zest. I, I just feel, you know, I want to be in the gym uh, as much as I, I can. I freaking, I love, yeah. I love this lifestyle more than ever before. I'm, just, I'm training yeah. a hell of a lot smarter now. I mean, like with yeah. age and years of training under our belt, maybe we get some aches and pains here and there. We got, we just got to learn to train smarter. It doesn't yeah. mean, it doesn't mean training less. No, you just train smarter. Listen to your body, incorporate variety of techniques that are easier on your joints and, and tendons. And, uh, man, you can have serious longevity in this yeah. sport when you're training smart and you don't have to cut <sighs> back to this minimalist type training that just, it's I mean, bullshit. It's just the 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 pussification of freaking weight training. It's just it just uh it it makes me it makes me sick. But like you said, there is that that segment yeah. out there. I mean, that kind of stuff really appeals to someone who doesn't want to move all that. Yeah, that yeah. Much. Exactly. Where do I get started? I don't want to. I don't enjoy going to the gym. Um, all right, I can get by with walking and yeah. go to the gym once a week, maybe twice a week. I, I can handle that. So. Um, well, and I get, and I get the idea of setting. I don't like it, but I get the idea of setting a low bar because it, it's really easy to be successful. So you get somebody, you know, they they can they go to the gym once a week and they go for a nice walk every day, and they'll they're successful. Mm -hmm. So, but I think especially guys, we want a fucking result. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't want to just you don't want to just like the gold star on your book report, man. Like you want to get a, a high grade. So it's like, yeah. So I I think that it's. They're really, again, they're just completely alienating and and talking down to this population, that this, this huge population. I, I think so. I think so. And it, it's a huge population, and it's a population that's, I mean, obviously, listening to us talk, we're freaking passionate about this stuff. We love it. I mean, that's, these are the guys that we love to, to interact with, and like, we are definitely underserved and yeah. probably misunderstood by the the other big population out there just doesn't they don't get how we can be so into it and yeah. uh, why we spend like they think they, they talk negatively about mm. our passion for it like get yeah. a life and yeah, all yeah, this yeah. stuff yeah we we got a freaking life and and we're having more fun in the gym than you are doing whatever the hell sitting in your lazy boy recliner curling your soup cans or whatever the hell yeah. you're doing it's uh it's yeah. uh it's ridiculous and what's really interesting is, and this kind of came about from a, a Twitter conversation I was having with uh, a couple of other coaches, including uh, uh, including Christian Thibodeau, who's a really good programmer. And it's just, when you get older, like I find with myself and with people I work with, you almost have to do more. Like you have to do like more, especially isolation work and, you know, body part work, like it, all this kind of this bro shit that people make fun of. That's where it really it really starts to shine is when you get over 40 and, and the big multi-joint movements, you know, either they, they feel a little risky or they feel off or you're just not feeling them where you're supposed to, you know? And like, you know, yeah, when you're young, maybe you can build big arms just doing chin-ups and dips. But you know, when you, 20 years later and your shoulders are kind of shot, do you really want to be doing a lot of weighted dips? You know, mm -hmm. probably not. You know, that's when like the isolation work really seems to come into play. <laughs> Settle down there, Maverick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Simmer All right, down. Right. He's cool. <laughs> uh, uh, there, he wants to go down. He's too damn. <laughs> That's right. hilarious. But yeah, I totally out. agree, man. I totally agree that, I mean, it, it's a time in life where, I mean, you see, it, it's kind of that, that tipping point. Mm -hmm. Are you going to continue challenging yourself and continue to strive for your potential and, and make the most out of what you have? Or are you going to decline like the rest yeah. and if you start cutting back and minimalizing i think that's when you're accepting decline oh, i can't freaking yeah i'm old uh, I, I better take it easy now and get uh i'll settle down in my lazy boy recliner i gotta recover a little bit better and it's 
Yeah. I just think there's a lot of a lot of nonsense out there, and it, mm-hmm. it's been going on for the past few years. I think there's there's a program that was released. It was like a, a it's always blows my mind because it's kind of these former bodybuilders who, who yeah. had, they already <laughs> built this incredible know, foundation. They look amazing. They've always yeah. looked amazing, and they looked amazing by busting their butt in the gym with high yeah. volume several days a week, and then then all of a sudden they come out with these programs. Oh no. Work high volume stuff, training more than three days a week for half an hour at a time. Uh, it's going to age you faster. And you see their picture, and they like, they're in their fifties, and they look amazing. They look incredible, right, right. and they say, oh, "Okay, now they get this program that's that's yeah. minimalist training. They look amazing." No, no, it was all those freaking years of training. You're doing high volume training that did not age you. You look freaking incredible right now. I just think it's a it's a bunch of nonsense. I look at. So many men and women I know who have been training high volume, high frequency. They're they're in the gym very often, and they look they look way better than everyone else. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, from time to time, you get someone who'll say like they're losing weight, and as you're aging, your face might look a little bit uh, gaunt or caved in yeah. or whatever. Whatever the hell, I I don't know. It, it, shit like that happens and some people oh my skin looks so much better when i'm fatter and puffier and that oh, uh, all right go <laughs> <laughs> exactly but yeah that whole aging thing like and they were basing they were basing their weight training program three days a week half an hour saying that that's better it's going to make you look younger they're basing that on research that compared 30 minutes of jogging to 60 minutes of jogging and people who jogged for 60 minutes i don't know yeah. it was tougher on aged them faster or whatever that's just how can you they're trying to draw conclusions based on stuff that's not even relevant. Just, just complete, utter like, nonsense. It's just attention grabbing headlines yeah. and appealing to the people who, again, yeah. don't enjoy training and are looking for any kind of excuse to train less. Where you and I are looking for any kind of excuse to freaking continue loving the lifestyle that, uh, that we've been embracing for years. Well, yeah, and I mean. I like I'm not an expert in anti-aging by any stretch, but like I think if there's a if there is a fountain of youth, other than exercise and, and nutrition, it's it's minimizing stress and like consistently exercising, consistently training at especially at a at a vigorous level. I mean, what better form of stress reduction is there? You yeah. know, you know, you can have, you can be having the worst freaking day, and your and your and your mind's all over the place. You have all the shit to do and stuff for the family, blah blah blah, but. Put in an hour of training, and all of a sudden, it's just like it rewires the circuitry in your head. Yeah. So I mean, it's just, yeah. I mean, this whole movement—it's kind of—it's it's doing this, pop- this population a serious disservice. So. I agree, one hundred and ten percent. Yeah. And uh, it, it's it is interesting. I mean, anytime you hear the topic, I mean, I do get emails from a lot of guys uh, over forty, over mm-hmm. fifty. Uh, just yeah. this this um, this past week, earlier in the week, I I received an email from one of uh, one of my subscribers one of my clients who's following the aesthetic muscle plan he's in his 50s um and he wanted to he wants to see more of rick in my video so my workout partner rick is 50, <laughs> 52 um, he's going to be 53 in in january i've been recently training uh, another buddy of mine's been training with us paul he's uh 51 he'll be 52 in january so a year younger than rick so these guys are in the 50s and, and my this, this customer of mine he uh he was looking for um he was talking about training over 50 and, and making it sound like it's it should be different than yeah. how I'm training right now in my 40s. I'm like, I don't, I'm going to be training. Rick's over 50, Paul's over 50, and we're all freaking training the same way. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got different little aches and pains here and there. Uh, but it's there. he's the gentleman, um, just a great, great freaking guy. Love, love him. Um he's had back issues. I think he's even had back surgery. So he's got these underlying issues and it, yeah. it's, it's interesting how you, you look at those things and you kind of associate yourself and in, in your condition. Like you, you've got an injury that you're dealing with, but you kind of lump in everyone over 50 thinking that we all feel the same way. We're all dealing with that kind of <sighs> campaign and we should be adjusting our workouts yeah. based on that. You can't, you, you can't go by that method. Like we're all different. Some of us, I see guys in their fifties. I mean, in the gym, a lot. Of, I mean, some of the best physiques are guys over fifty oh. in my gym. Oh yeah, phenomenal. Better, they they crush the younger guys. The best physiques in my gym 
our guys are 50, but also some of the worst physiques in the gym are guys <laughs> are 50. There's, it's, it's all over the place. So yeah, like we've been talking about, it's, it depends on where you're at right now, what your standards are too, the enjoyment that you get out of it. And it, it does seem like the guys who, who do have the best physiques get the most enjoyment out of training. We love it. We treat it mm-hmm. for what it is. Like it's a, it's our serenity. Like you said, it's, it's a great stress reliever for us. It's great camaraderie. We just love the atmosphere. Yeah, and there's, I mean, the the key is staying healthy. Like I find, and, yeah. and if you, if you start training smart, uh, if you start training smart at a younger age, like not always chasing one rep maxes. And you know, in my personal opinion, if if your goal is aesthetics, you rarely, I don't see why I have to go below three reps even, or even five. Um, if your goal is aesthetics and just hypertrophy and such, but um, if you stay healthy, if you don't do really stupid shit like working through pain. You know, like if something hurts, you stop, yep. you know, like if you can kind of stay on the right side of the injury uh, ledger, then you're, man, you could just, you can literally train forever. Like it's, it's as soon as you get beat up, like, oh, you blow a shoulder out or you, or you blast your back, then all of a sudden, you know, go to, it, things start getting a little tougher. So yeah, yeah. You just, yeah, stay healthy and listen to your body. Like I said, that's, um, uh, Rick, this, this program that we're following had, um, sumo deadlifts in it. And Rick uh, at work ended up just aggravating his, his lower back on the one side, just pulling on something, aggravated his lower back, got to the gym. He did warming up with the deadlift. He's like, it's just, it's not feeling right. So he ended yep. up doing wide grip, uh, wide stance squats instead. Felt amazing. Ooh. Got through it. Felt incredible stretch in there. Everything felt the way he wanted it to feel. Worked through it. And um, so he didn't. He, he was smart about the approach. Listened yeah. to his body, made a change based on that. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's all, it all comes down to not punishing your body, but training, working with it, being a lot yeah. smarter. Mm-hmm. And he was someone who, before we started training, we've been working out together for about four years now. So in his 30s and 40s, he was all about lifting in that four to six rep range all, yeah, yeah. all the time. And I mean, he built a great physique from it, um, but he was hurt all the time and yeah. since we've been training for the past four years and that heavier lifting is is maybe like 10 percent of our overall workout and uh, he's basically injury free his range of motion is so much better uh his tendons joints everything is feeling awesome other than like the odd ache and pain that we get here and there and a lot of times it's not even from what goes on in the gym it's lifestyle or work or other things that may uh, that may aggravate us. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, staying healthy. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I don't know for all those bros out there. I mean, it just it's tough. I try to ignore a lot of that stuff. I try to ignore that nonsense out there. I try not to let it get to me. But you do really realize that. I mean, it's a disservice to yeah, a lot of us guys out there who really. We're striving for our best Mm -hmm. and we're we're very driven and to tell us to cut back on that stuff, I I just think it's a bunch of of nonsense. Now, if you're super freaking busy and that's the only time that you can commit, hey man, I get it. I mean, life, there's life, but don't think that by your chronological age that you're automatically, you know, resigned to this wimpy, lame ass workout schedules that are being forced upon you. So, Yeah. 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 Don't buy into that shit. It, it's fine. It, it just it's it, it really is the premise on how they how they're phrasing everything. They make it sound like all of us should be doing that. I just really yeah. wish they would say, "All right, if you don't have the time, if you're busy, if uh, if you just don't enjoy training, this yeah. is for you." Don't say this is the best way. If you're aging, this is the way everyone over forty should be training. Because that's that's uh, that's bullshit. And not everybody should be training like us. We're not going to no. say that, but don't dumb shit down. If you got it in you, freaking push it. And that's like my buddy yes. Paul. Paul's been uh, joining us for the past couple of days, and he's doing shoulder presses today. He grabbed 40-pound dumbbells, and he's like, I'm like, dude, you can do more than that. He's like, oh, I'm just so used to not pushing himself and not really realizing what yeah, he's yeah. capable of achieving. So Rick and I got him to bump up the weight, and uh, he's like, I can do it. It's like all of a sudden you feel yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel empowered uh, yeah. when you start really challenging yourself and making the most out of what you have. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, bro. You think we nailed it? Is that good? I, you got anything think, else on your mind? No, man. I, I, I think we delivered, man. We delivered yeah. the goods. Yeah. I love it. 
I love it. A little Maverick, Halloween rant. Maverick in the house. We got to see Maverick. That's awesome. Yeah. This is good fun, man. This is good fun. And uh, yeah, outstanding. So we'll be doing more of this video recording. You can also find it on iTunes. I'm going to have a link to Brian's article down below. Be sure to check that out because it talks a bit about more bit more uh, even life stuff in general um great great fantastic article of course briancron.com uh, loads of articles on there metabolicmasterpiece.com yeah. you can come check out some of my shit too <laughs> again we appreciate if you like this stuff on youtube here you can give us a thumbs up leave a comment if it's on itunes please rate it and uh, give us a little uh, review same thing on stitcher and soundcloud and once it comes to Canada, we got Google Play coming in soon as well. We're going to try to get ourselves on as many different platforms as possible because there yep. needs to be more of this uh, broness in the airwaves. <laughs> we, we really, when, when we're hearing all the bombarded with these kind of minimalist messages, uh, I think we need to get more of this, uh, more of this stuff out there. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. All right, brother. Another great conversation. Great seeing you. Great talking with you and, yeah. uh, and seeing you while we're, we're discussing this shit. Absolutely. Outstanding, brother. Catch you next time. Happy Halloween. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs>